My first night here and I'm already having strange dreams. So what's the dream? <sighs> How come you didn't ring? Oh my god. My leg, my leg, my leg, my leg, my leg. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, chow, chow, chow. Oh. Ha, thank God. I was really hoping I'll meet you at home. Ah, what is, why are you so early? The keys, the keys, please. I forgot oh. to take mine from the bunch. Take go. Ah, ah. What are you wearing? Clothes now, what? Eh? Oh! Ah, the keys. The keys. Ah! Ah! Uh, uh, we calm down now. We touch your hurry. Somebody will think you walk in a bank and not a laundry. Ah! You know how my boss is. Ah. Eh? Ah. This place is cursed. What's the worst that can happen? What's going on here? Like as usual. Firstly, I had a bad dream. Secondly, my alarm clock did not wake me up for the very first time. Okay. Then I hit my leg right now. Now I'm wearing my dress upside down. Okay. How is wearing your dress upside down the problem? It's not a coincidence. My, my grandma says it's a sign of good fortune. Oh, really? Anyway, you've always been a doubting Thomas. Are you just coming to work? No, I've been here since 8. So why are you just getting dressed? There was... Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Very good, sir. Change my clothes. Sure, um, it's okay, your tag. Yeah. Okay. I have it here and that's the money. Thank you, thank you. I'll just start this. Let's see. Okay, one minute. Sir. Thank you. 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 You too. You too. Susan! Call me Susan. Susan! Oh, good morning. Who opened the office today? Me, sir. Okay. Um, give these clothes to the boys. Tell them to get it ready before evening. Hmm? Good. Okay. Register this and uh, also tell the boys to get that thing ready early. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. I don't want this, you're lazy in around. Yes, sir. On the sense. <laughs> you let your words leave. Mm. I surprise you. Let's go happen. I'm even lucky my boss didn't get it before I did. Well, me, I yeah, just did with me come out. As soon as I see the big lock comes, I can't enter. Uh, some, somebody say, make I give you this clothes this morning. Oh. Yeah. What's his name? I can't remember, I don't forget. So, yeah. I don't forget him. I don't know. Huh, no problem, but I need to label this. Can you please describe him so that when he gets here, I'll know it's him? The guy is not too fat, he's not too tall. Uh, he, he did that. No, he fair. And he, I, I'm not. The guy was it's okay. Dark. It's okay. No problem. Thank you.
Baby. Ivy. Ivy, Okoro, would you do this young gentleman a favor by being his wife? Would you marry me? Alex, this isn't the big deal proposal I was expecting. <laughs> Don't you think it's fair to at least give me a response first? Come on, Alex. You know the answer. If I didn't put pressure on you, this will be coming soon. So please. <sighs> what do you really want, Ivy? The question should be, what kind of proposal do I want? So you want to teach a man how to propose to you now? Alex, yes, why not? You were supposed to ask me the kind of proposal I wanted. The kind of ring, silver, or gold. Let me even see what you've got there. Alex, you do know my taste. This is just perfect. Silver. Wow. All you have to do now is just to propose rightly. You see? How? Come on. You just get a fancy and expensive restaurant. That is after you must have got me a lovely dress. My family and friends invited. Then you pop the question and I'll just act surprised. <laughs> and then my friends will get to see my expensive ring and they'll flood the Instagram with my videos and they'll get to trend. <laughs> so, that's it. Mm. So, we have been together for about two years now and you still don't know what I like. Alex, I know what you like, but I refuse to accept it. Come on, Alex, you're so boring and you're just too low-key. Doesn't make sense. So you know I'm low-key. Right? So please, get that grandiose idea of a proposal out of your mind. And I'm assuming I got a yes to my question. So please put on the ring. I'm going to work. And again, Get that ground just idea of a proposal out of your mind. Okay? Come on, Alex, this isn't fair. Like, it's not fair. Just look at my... Just, I'm not even having an expensive nails. Okay, fine. If you wanted to propose this way, why didn't you just get someone to video the whole thing? Like, just look, everywhere is so dry. No flowers. So sorry to keep you waiting, my man. <sighs> what am I to complain? <laughs> You're the CEO. So you can come to work whenever you like. <laughs> oh. I mean, don't start with me this morning because if you had told me you were coming, at least I would have been earlier. Besides, the reason I came late was not even worth it. Did you get into a fight with Ivy? Yeah. I proposed. You did what? But I thought we were still undecided on whether she is a wife material or not. Well, she threatened to break up with me if I don't take her relationship to the next level. She said her parents are her kids. What do I could do now? This is serious. Uh, but would you rather now get into a marriage you're not sure of than getting single again? Okay. I'm not getting any younger. Look at me now. But wait, how do you intend to handle our extravagant lifestyle? I think I can cop that. I think so. You think? You think? <laughs> B, you know how unlucky I've been with you. Man. I can't start looking for a wife all over again. I don't tire.
What's wrong with you? Why are you smiling like a million dollar rich? Why does it always have to be about money with you? Hmm. Before uncle, what of today if not money? I bet share the good news. Nothing. I'm just smiling. Hmm. You're unbelievable. Mm. That reminds me. You mentioned you had a strange dream. What's it about? Mm. It wasn't that scary. It's just... It was just... A strange dream, that's all. Care to share? Nah. I'll just let it slide. Maybe... Mm -hmm. If you didn't choose to be with a man on our first night here, I wouldn't be having strange dreams. Hmm. <laughs> to You are the one who chose to be single now, so cut me some slack. Lillian, come on, that's an unfair thing to say. You know I haven't been lucky in relationships. And that's why you chase all those eligible bachelors away, eh? Sophia, you have to try again, really. Of course I could. I want to. It's just that... I haven't felt butterflies with anyone yet. Oh, really? There you go again. I give up. Listen, really, listen. Like, <clears throat> of course I want to love, mm. but I've never really truly been in love with anyone so dearly before. Hmm. Well, I hope. You feel those butterflies in any of time. So if you're not getting any young girl, all your mates are married. So you have now, you have now turned I've now turned my office into a sleeping room. Huh? I'm sorry, sir. Maybe because I did not give you plenty of work, that's why you're, you, you're lazying around. Huh? No, sir. Lazy thing. The clothes are actually to register. Have you registered them? this thing like this? What kind of name is this? I, I did. That's the person's name. Fragrance? People are funny now. How can someone register? How can someone name his child Fragrance? <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. um, these boys, they said that the starch is finished. Yeah. Go and get them some. Go and get them starch. Huh? Okay. Okay. Good afternoon. Welcome, sir. I've uh, been bringing clothes here last week. Okay. Okay. You want to pick it up? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Um, your receipt, sir. Ah. Mm, the time when I come, the office no open. Sign man, shop man outside. And you don't even ask me my name. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. We were, you know. Trying to. Uh, is he a native or a corporate? No, just three white shirts. Three uh, white shirts. Three yeah. white shirts. Yeah. Yeah. It's 4,000. 4,000. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, you. You know, that's not how we work, eh? Sorry, eh? I want, I want the... No, no, no. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Come here. Oh yeah. Stay there. How many of my customers have I lost because of you? How many customers? 
have I lost because of you? How many times have I told you and explained to you how vital it is for you to come to work early? And you still come to work late, jeopardizing my business. Sir, I always come to work early. Shut up, come on, shut up! You liar! So how come, how come a client took, took his clothes to, to, the, to the bookseller outside? Huh? And you even tagged the clothes wrongly? How do you explain that? <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. Keep down your stupid apology to yourself. Nonsense. I always come early, just once I've been late, sir. Ah. So am I supposed to believe you that you, you come to work early? Every single time they catch a thief, that's the first time the person is stealing. Have you, have you bothered to ask yourself if something happened to that cloth? If it got lost, what we would have told the customer? Huh? How many times have I warned you to, to take this business and, and, and handle it with your life? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry to yourself. Nonsense. Listen. From henceforth, see this phone? Hmm? It will ring exactly at 8 a.m. Let your village people help you that you don't pick it up. That day you will lose your job. Probably you do not understand the number of graduates that are out there roaming on the streets. That's why you take yours for granted. I'm sorry, sir. Let me see what you bought. Give this to the boys. Oh, oh ah, and I thought I was seeing him. I wanted to meet him so badly. Um, Alex. Huh? So finally, I got my events planner. She's coming in from London yeah. and my wedding dress, yes, from Dubai, my deco from Paris. God, it's going to be beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we flying in an event planner from London and importing the deco from Paris when we can get these things in Nigeria? Alex, please, can you just stop? After all, you didn't want to give my dream engagement. This is my wedding. It has to be the talk of town. I need to train on my wedding day. It has to be big. We're not getting married to train, are we? You know, I can't do this with you. You're always like, you. I'm trying to cope with your boring life. You're pushing me away. Like, what do you even want from me? It's not fair. It's my wedding. Can you let me be happy for once? I'm, I'm, I'm only saying this. No, 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 no. I can't do this with you right now. And it's really sad. Ivy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can't do this with you right now. Ivy, just, can't we just have a simple conversation without you yelling or we? Wow. Um, so it's okay, no problem. Yeah, I'll come by next weekend. Mm. All right. Oh God, oh, I'm tired. You know, if this job of yours is stressing you out this much, you should quit. Why don't you find me one? So I know once I quit, I won't be sitting at home idle waiting for a job. Girl, not everybody's lucky to have a boyfriend who caters for their needs. Okay, I'm sorry. That didn't come out right. I'm only worried because you often come back from work unhappy. That's fine. Okay, so tell me, what happened? My boss, he ruined my chance of meeting someone I've been longing to meet. Who? Okay, I really don't know this guy. In oh. fact, I don't know him, but... The scent of his shirt is so, oh, so heavenly. Wait, a customer? Is my confession, please? Mm. Babe, you remember that day I went to work late? Mm -hmm. mm. A customer came by and left his shirt for my neighbor. 
The scent of the clothes just swept me off my feet. I can only imagine how handsome he is. <laughs> Wait, is this really happening? Am I dreaming or something? You are all about somebody you have never met because of his perfume. I knew you were going to make a mockery of this. That's why I didn't <laughs> want to tell you. <laughs> ah, but wait, till, how are your chances of seeing him ruined? He can always come by to the, um, to the laundry. Hmm. I doubt. This is his first time patronizing us. He's not a regular customer. Hmm. Mm, I see. I'm gonna go inside. <clears throat> Please don't finish my changing now. What's going on with you? Ah. So which church are you going to this time around? Ha, babe. You should get ready and come with me. This church I discovered is in Guarimpa with a lot of eligible, handsome guys. Ah! Mm. Where would you stop? It's weird how you go to different churches every Sunday in search of a husband when you have a boyfriend. Babe, I'm open to better options, so. Ha, did you send a ring on my finger? Instead of me to get ready so we can go, you're telling me about uh, this one. Ha! I'm not in search of a husband. Oh, really? Because of your perfume boyfriend, Abby? Sophia, continue deceiving yourself. You remember your age, Abby? It's just you and I left in this world of singlehood. Very soon, I will leave you and get married. There's no competition anyway. Ah, I see a cup of tea. Anyway, tell me I look gorgeous. Dashing. Ah, are your friend now? Mm. Not when you look like you're going to an all-black party. No decency. It's church for Christ's sake. Ah, I hear you. Hmm. When I find a husband, I'll start dressing decently. For now, I'll keep slaying till I slay a husband. I beg. You know what? When I get to church, I'll just tell, you know, I might just find some cute guys. I'll tell them, hey, I have this beautiful friend who is at home and she's roasting and she needs a boyfriend or a husband. You get? I'll just, you know, what are friends so I can do that for you, my darling. Bye. Mwah. See you later. Hello? 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 Hi. Oh, I'm Good sorry night. to bother you. Uh, my car just broke down and I was wondering if I could uh, stay here while I wait my mechanic. He's already on his way. All right, you can have a seat till he gets here. Thank you very much.
Excuse me. Uh, sorry to bother you again. Um, you okay? Yes. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, nothing really. I am just baffled that uh, a dancer like you work in the laundry. Is that supposed to be a compliment or what? Oh, apologies. I, obviously, I didn't put my words right. Uh, what I actually mean is that um, I'm surprised that a pretty lady like you uh, we could get any man to do absolutely anything for her. What's here? As an office girl, I'm more like the receptionist. So oh. it's no big deal. <laughs> you, you know what? I uh, like uh, women who, who are diligent and know what they want. Oh, I'm Patrick. Hello? Offering you a seat wasn't me shooting my shot. That was just me being human. Oh, well, <laughs> even I was shooting your shot, I mean, it was worth it. Uh, after all, I'm expensive, am I not? Uh, listen, all I want is to get to know you some more. Yeah. Do you mind if I get your contact? I do. Why? Uh, I don't mind. You do not need my contact for anything. Please do not let me regret offering you a seat. Sorry. <sighs> oh boy, I would have been here earlier, even though for the fact that my car broke down. Sorry, man, I got here later as well. Because of that woman I call my fiance. And Patrick, I'm tired. You and this your toxic relationship. I mean, it's just a relationship. And look at how you are. Look at how frustrated you are. I mean, I believe you're aware that uh, marriage is a lifetime thing. <sighs> she keeps getting on my last nerve. Well, you see, all women are the same, right? They keep angering and provoking you, wanting you to hit them. Now listen, that is exactly where you got it all wrong. See, well, all women are not the same. Yes, it's just quite unfortunate that you got yourself a stubborn one. A very stubborn one. <laughs> unfortunate you. Uh, uh, that reminds me. I met this pretty, tranquil lady today. Oh, Patrick. Dude. This lady is simply amazing. Trust me. Wait, you met this lady this morning? Of course, yes. And your love struck. <laughs> Tell me you collected that contract too. Oh, that's a sad part. Wow. You know, she's proven hard to get. But trust me, I will be patient. And I will definitely get her. <laughs> <laughs> you see why I should just stick with Ivy and her excesses? Because I do not have the patience to start chasing any woman around. I'm no feet. Alex, listen, oh. when you see this lady I'm talking about, uh. the patience will come. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> it will come. I mean, she's the calm one. Oh, no, no. Never judge a book by its cover, my friend. Uh, believe that. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. You see, when you see a peaceful lady, you will know. Definitely, you will. You will. So I'm so glad I met her at a laundry shop today. So you're talking about a laundry girl? You're going on and on about a laundry girl? I don't know. <laughs> so what happened to all your talk about style and class? You know that is. <laughs> class A. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh -huh. Talking me now. Come on, don't be difficult. All I want is just your contact, please. I don't think that's asking too much. 
Maybe you think I'm one of those girls who are moved by material things. So you came with one of these to impress me? Come on. <laughs> I mean, if that exactly were to be my thought, I mean, you wouldn't be working in the laundry. Come on, please. All I ask for is to be friends with you. Please. Well, I do not want to be your friend. So please, leave. Present. Ah, uh, madam, good morning. Good morning, how can I help you? Take, madam. What will I do? When I'm moving. You've been here before, right? You don't know these clothes? Hey, hey, no. Hey, no. I'm Oga. Oga, let's not get up. Anything happen? <sighs> Nothing. I'm just trying to be sure, that's all. Okay, now you get up. I'm Oga, get up. I'm Alice. Alice. So, record the name with Alice. Or if you use my name, Ben. I'll just use Alex. Okay, when are you come for that? Um, you can come for it by weekend, okay? <clears throat> oh, is it express? No, 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 no. My organ will rush. I will come on Saturday. Second. Have a fantastic day, sir. Oh, say, this is the way the Monga plot is in that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just might have found my Prince Charming. I wish I could see his face. Sophia. Mm, sir. Did I just see you sniff customers' clothes? No, sir. Or rather, were you hogging the customers' clothes? No, And then Nana Saturday. Ah, I know. Just that we had a delay with our chemicals. Um, but don't worry, we'll be ready today. Madam, I bring this cloth since last week. Oga Alex no go happy if I don't bring this cloth come back today. How about you no go happy now? And if that's all they do, I will just stop to the patronize now using this shop. I beg, no offense, eh? You know, our chemicals come all the way from Saint Tropez. But they are in now. I will make sure your clothes are ready today, please. Madam, so you need to make I come back here today again. You know where they come from? Ifao. Ifao now. God. You know what? Um, I will deliver the clothes myself to you. Deliver? Yes. Who go pay? I'm not going to pay for that one. Because it will be my fault soon. Don't worry, just, just make sure I just... I'm not going to pay at all. Do you know Just write your address over here for me. But I see, but I beg, I would like my get this one today. My get this one today, I beg. Don't because worry. if I don't get them today, I'll get them all that bad. I beg, don't worry. You have my word for it. I'll send it to you. Just write your address for me. No, you'll like address. I'll put phone number too. Okay. Don't worry about transportation as well. First, give me your own phone number too. Number, be rest assured your clothes will be delivered to you at your house today. Please, today, I beg today. No problem. Okay, don't worry. Bye bye. Yes! I finally get to meet my crush. Susan! Susan! Come to go. You see, Oga Alice's outfit. 
Please make sure it's ready within two hours. Let max. Alright. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Okay. Ah, oh, sir, good afternoon. Yeah, sir, this um, customer was here earlier on today, but the clothes were not ready, so he requested for home delivery. Who is paying for the delivery? Sir, it's our fault that... You mean your fault? You, obviously, the person came this morning. Who told the person to come this morning? It's today, not Saturday. Huh? Are you okay? Can't you use your head and think? It's today, not Saturday. Sir, um... I don't mind, um... He's expecting home delivery, sir. So, um, I don't mind for customer, for good customer service. I don't mind using my own transport to deliver the clothes to him. And where do you think you're going to? Huh? Is home delivery not done after work? Uh, but he sounded very urgent. He sounded very urgent. So who will man your office? Huh? Who will man your seat? Wait. Why do I suspect that you have somewhere else you want to go to? No, not at all. I'm just concerned about customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction kill you there. So I will not be the one to sit down here and do your job. Come on, come back here and, and, and do your job. You're dead doing nonsense. See, Sophia, if I come out and I don't see you on this seat, if I come out and I don't see that your stupid head on this seat, you see what I'll do to you? Nonsense. Why is this my boss so problematic? Papa, now I have to wait to the close of day. Are you? My name is Sophia. Scrap that. I mean, what are you doing here? I'm from Royal Bliss Laundry. I'm here to deliver Mr. Alex's outfits. Oh, a laundry girl. Let me have the clothes. Huh? Let me have the clothes. But, 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 um, no. The, the, the clothes are for Mr. Alice. He hasn't paid me yet. Do I look poor to you? What's your bill? 4,500 Naira. Here. Here. Let me have the clothes, please. Madam, please, I don't have change. Let me have it.
guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Listen, this is an obvious sign you should quit. The guy is not in your class. I'll pretend I didn't hear you say that. <laughs> oh. well, that girl is very rude though. Hey. Mm. But it's no fault of Alexander anyway. I don't know who she is. His girlfriend, obviously. Or his sister. Oh, really? That's your consolation. Yes, she could be his sister or, better still, his girlfriend or maybe his wife. I didn't see a ring on her finger. You are really having fun at my expenses. <laughs> but it's funny. I mean, after taking transportation to go to his house, you came back without getting a glimpse of what he even looks like. Enough. Okay, stop making me feel worse. Okay, Sophia. Listen, you're a very beautiful lady. I'm sure you have rich customers who want to go out with you. Why not give one of them a chance and stop drooling over a guy that doesn't even know you exist? Because I like the way I feel about Alexander. Oh, really? Yes. You mean that? <sighs> what has come over you, Sophia? I think you're under a spell or something. Listen, it's like, I feel like I know him. All I wanted was a chance to just meet up with him, see his face. I was just curious about how he looked like. So, why don't you go to his house and tell him, Hi, Alexander. My name is Sophia, the laundry girl. I think I know you from somewhere because your perfume smells familiar. I'll never do that, please. Why not? No, go ahead and embarrass yourself. I think you need deliverance. A very serious one at that. Uh, hey guys. So today I'll be showing you guys my apartment and my luxurious furniture and exquisite cars. Why do you have to return now, Alex? Tell me you didn't see me making a video before you decided to come in and ruin it. Why? I'm sorry I didn't know I was. I meant to wait outside till you were done with your video. Come on, Alex. A few minutes won't kill. In my house. Ivy, when is this going to stop? There's time for everything. Oh, please, please. Alex, this video increased my followers on Instagram and I have to pause this video before 5 p.m. today because that's when majority of my followers are online, okay? So please, allow me. <sighs> okay. <coughs> I hope this. Okay, guys. Um. <sighs> You need to get a job. What? Why? You sit at home all day, making TikTok and Instagram videos. You don't even cook for me. All we do is order food. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with that. But what I do have a serious problem with is that your idol. Idol? Alex, didn't you just say I'm always on TikTok and Instagram? Oh, wow. So you don't think that is engaging enough? <laughs> really? TikTok and Instagram? And what is wrong with that? That's how I keep myself busy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? TikTok and Instagram. Ivy, you're on Instagram all day, yet you barely have 1,500 followers on your page. If you were even a social media influencer, it would have been easier. I won't be this worried. Alex, can you stop this? Stop it. Everyone has what makes them happy. And yours is TikTok and Instagram? Ivy, you don't even have good content on your page. The only things you have on your page 
I have pictures and videos of my cars, my houses, pictures and videos of you and your friends partying. And your TikTok videos, you can't even lip sync properly. I need you to get industrious. Get serious. Let's start up a business for you or something. You can do social media at your spare time. Just get busy with something serious. I'm so sorry, guys. Yes. <laughs> okay, now I'm showing you all my apartment. I hope you're ready. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Just, I love you guys so much. Just. So you're now doing expensive restaurants in all churches anymore? <laughs> I can't believe I talked to you to bring me here. Oh. As if you're not happy I pulled you out. Besides, the bill is on me, remember? Before Uncle. Am I the one looking for an eligible bachelor? Nobody finds a man sitting at home, Sophia. Lillian, you're not even single. And I've told you I'm open to better options. Yeah, <sighs> Guy, yeah, it's quite sad that we have to come grab food on the Sunday. I mean, while your fiance is at home, at least let her cook if it is once on Sundays. Has she finished TikToking? Huh? See, my problem is not even that she can't cook. My problem is that she's a reckless spender. She spends money anyhow. Yet, combo. Combo, she knows how to make. A woman that cannot contribute in any way. Hey, dude, you're going to be my soul. I'll make me order food and I'll fix the order, okay? Just give me one minute. Really, bro? Yeah. Hi. You again? Nah, faint again. Wow. Listen, I don't know what you want, but I've told you that I cannot give it to you. Lillian, let's leave. No, 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 no. it hasn't come to that. Stop. Can I? Yeah. Can I? Sit? Thank you. Boy, you are fine. Thank you. You're not looking bad yourself. Thank you. Is your friend usually like this? Oh, just, just let it go. She'll be, she'll be fine. <laughs> I just wonder why she's not allowing me to get to know her. All I want is just a chance to know her. Oh, by the way, my name is Patrick. Oh, I'm Lillian. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Uh, what? Your phone? Oh, my phone. My phone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you have it. Oh. Yeah, that's her number. Her name is uh, Sophia. Okay, Sophia. Uh -huh. uh, can, can I have yours too? Yes, you know, in case I call and she doesn't pick my call. Please. Okay. Thank you. That's it. My name is Lillian. Lillian, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Um, nice to meet you. Patrick? Yes, Patrick. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> I got a number. <laughs> what number? Wait, that's why you went to get a lady's number. No, no the laundry girl, girl I told you about. about. Uh, Wish. She? Oh, well, she's, she's gone, gone already. Uh, she was still, still proving hard to get, but mm. I got a number anyway. Right. Good for you. Uh, make me order now. I don't order now, you man. Ah. 
You don't chop. I want to chop. Nah, you know. Order your food. <sighs> no fair. Waiter. You say you want to call a woman on number? I don't know. What is even wrong with you, Sophia? What did that cute guy do to you? Eh? Giving him your number is not a big deal. It's just a phone number. Anyway, you should be grateful because I, I, I helped you do it. You gave him my number? Yes, I did. Why? Because you have to get booed up by hook or by crook. You're so concerned about me being in a relationship. And you don't even care with who. That guy didn't give me a good first impression. He's so arrogant. He's not even my spec. Why do I have this feeling you're doing this because of your perfume boyfriend? Huh? Whatever. Hey, say that I'm doing Shakara, eh? You don't know your mates are married. So you didn't get that from the laundry before you traveled? Oh, I forgot, sir. Oh, how can you forget? And I have a meeting now with those clothes. All my work clothes are wrong. What am I going to do? Sir, I get the laundry get phone number. Okay. That's, that's good. C can she deliver it immediately? She will deliver them to you for house. Send it right away, please. Okay, sir. Thank you. Hello? Hello, hi. My name is Mr. Alexander. Uh, I have my clothes brought in by my gate man. His name is Benedict. I'd like them to deliver the immediately, please. Is that possible? Hello? Are you there? Can you hear me? Huh? Uh, yeah, yes, I'm here. It's me. Yes, I'm here. Yes, you, you, your clothes are here. Okay, so can you please deliver it to me? Right away. No, 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 no. Great. Thank you. Please, I'll be, I'll be expecting. I'll send you the address. All right. Bye. Oh my God. I can't believe I just spoke with my crush. His voice is so angelic. Oh my God. Ah, oh. Susan. Susan. Come, 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 come. I need you to cover for me, okay? I, I need to go somewhere really quickly. I'll be right back. I'm delivering someone's close to them. Don't take time, man. Yeah, I don't want to go Okay, sure. I just wait for you. Ah, you're right. Let me change. Your clothes. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay? Okay, um. Um. Here. So, this is excess. Yeah, that's for the stress. Thank you for delivering our time. Thank you. I can't wait to see your face. And 
Bored at home, I just started to come and pay my friend a visit. Where did you go? Thank God it's you and not my boss. Anyway, guess what? Uh-uh. You're full of strange surprises. I'm not guessing. What is it? I finally got to meet Alex. Really? Well, what's he like? Is, is he cute? Huh? Yeah. This guy is so handsome. Mm. He is so spoken. Mm. Really? I think I just might have met my future husband. I think I'm dreaming. <laughs> you're such a drama queen. I mean, you're just flushed because of him. Ha! <laughs> Wait. Are you just noticing that now? Then you are blind, my dear friend. Mm. I have been in love with him from the very first time his shirt was brought in here and I perceived that scent in his shirt. Oh! <laughs> That's true. Did you, did you get to ask him the name of his perfume? I, I think it's nice too. No, I couldn't even talk. I couldn't say anything. I was just mesmerized. It was as if the world had just come to a pause. Hmm. But you two, what kind of thing is it? How can I ask him something like that? That would be strange. The same way what you're doing is strange. I mean, how can you fall in love with somebody just because of the smell of his perfume? Hello? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Who was that? The man you gave my number without my permission. And you hung up on him just like that? That's not fair. I do not like him. I don't want to waste his time. Ha! <laughs> because of you, Alexander. Sophia, you're my friend and I won't deceive you. A bed in hand is what's in the bush. What makes you think you and Alex are of the same class? You're the one who told me he's of the upper class. I'm sorry that came out wrong, but it's the truth. Sophia. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know how many minutes I've been standing here without you knowing that I'm standing here? Imagine I was a thief. Probably I would have cut it out with customers' clothes. Continue, Sam, sir. If anything misses in this office because of your stupid negligence, you pay with your salary. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I don't know what is going on in that phone, but trust me, it must be very foolish like you. And all these customers that their clothes have stayed up to two weeks or more than three weeks, if they come to pick it up, charge them twice the price. This place is not a boutique. If you pick that phone, if you touch it, the person isn't even calling you. Huh? The distraction is calling you. Can't you use your head? Get out. Nonsense. Thing is getting serious. He really wants to meet up with me. He's really curious. I don't know what to do. Uh huh. You should have known it would get to this. So um, I think you should get ready to meet up with him. For some reason, I'm just wondering why you still chat with this. I mean, since she has refused to reveal her identity. A man, I find it interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm enjoying <laughs> every bit of it. I can't even lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. But do you have an idea what this person might be? I mean, the person behind this whole game? Nope. Not a slightest clue. Even though, even though, I kind of suspected my former secretary. Because I know, say, I did enter her eye. 
<laughs> but she know they can, she know get that kind of man. She know that boy. Come to think of it, have you thought about the possibility of Ivy being behind this? I mean, maybe she wants to make you repeat. Nah, maybe I can see. There's something about this mystery girl. Funny thing is, we kind of have the same likes and dislikes. I'm not even kidding. Mm, likes and dislikes. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Look at you, you're smiling. I'm like, wait, guy, hope it's not that you're already liking this strange girl. Hey, bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Truth uh, is, I just look forward to her messages. I enjoy chatting with her. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think it's just the aura of the mystery that is making you feel this way. But uh, regardless, I think you should be careful. You should. Okay, I'll ask for a meet, or we stop talking. Okay, I think that's better. I mean, I mean, how long will this game continue? Uh, and uh, wait, oh, uh, did you attempt digging into a number? Possibly, you could have found the name or something. You know, the way it's done now. Yep, every single bit, nothing. Uh. Wow. But guy, you still have to be very careful. Oh, you yeah. have to be very careful. Hi. How did you... Oh. Lillian. I was at your workplace, but it was locked. Then it dawned on me that uh, it's a weekend, Sunday. So I figured I should come visit you at home instead. Uh, can I come in? I got you this. You live here alone? With Lillian. Oh, I see. Why did you come here? Sophia. I like you. Uh, I'm sure you should know that by now. I want to date you. Well, that's not happening. Why? Uh, you're seeing someone. I owe you no explanation. But my heart belongs to someone else. Besides, I don't even like you. Well, well, that, that's because you don't want to. Okay, listen. Let's be friends. At least let's be friends. I want to know you some more. I promise. Just friendship. Uh, nothing more. Please. Please. Can I sit? I, I know you this. And it comes with a bottle of wine too. It's quite expensive. Alex, you've been acting strangely. Like you would have stay glued to your phone and have a proper conversation with me. Well. When you rather pick a fight at the chance of a slight conversation. Besides, you have refused to get a job. I'm not pleased with you. Please, please, just, just, just stop it. Stop. It's not about my refusal to get a job. It's your attitude towards me. And I won't have that attitude if you act right. Who cares? Listen, I'm, I'm not even begging for your attention, okay? 
You can act code for all I care. I'm still not going to get a job. I mean, why do I need to get a job when you earn so much? Tell me, why? See you later. My monthly allowance is due. Why is it late this month? Been busy. Find time to make a transfer. Yeah, that do. Ben? Yes. Hey, sweetheart. Is Mrs. Halima's outfit ready? No, Ah, we need to hurry up. She's coming for it today. Okay. How many hours? Hello? Hi. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So I brought some laundry. Um, when, when do I get them? Um, Sunday, sir. Sunday. Sorry, sorry, next week. Um, I get my week back then, so you come for that. So am I supposed to sign anything? Yes. Just a moment, sir. Mystery girl, can I ask you a question? Where have you been all my life? Can't wait to see your face. Mystery girl, can you send me a picture? Cause I've been living a lie. Can't wait to say your name. You're my perfect distraction, perfect delight. Pretty attraction, I know they lie. Like you cast a spell on me. For a girl I've never seen You're my perfect distraction, perfect delight Pretty attraction, I know they lie Like you cast a spell on me For a girl I've never seen Hey, mystery girl Mystery girl Since you came into my life Mystery girl Mystery girl I can feel the butterfly Hey, mystery girl Mystery girl I'll do anything for you Mystery girl Mystery girl Cause you're worth the sacrifice Mystery girl Would you believe if I told you you're the one who rescued me from a life of misery. Mystery girl, can you ever imagine? Oh, um, this babe not opt for the second one. No? I don't know her yet. Yet the thought of her excites me. Huh. <laughs> And who says you're not classy? Ha, I mean, isn't that the reason Patrick can't stay off you? So for you're a very beautiful and intelligent girl. I mean, you graduated with a first class. You're only doing this job because of the situation of the country. Uh -huh. See how you're trying to pat me up to put me on Alexander's level. A girl, that guy is in an upper class level, man. He's on a whole different level altogether. I'm not his class. Mm. So why didn't you put that into consideration in the first place? Hmm? I'm hungry. I need to eat something. I don't even know if you cooked anything. You know what? Mm-hmm. I think I'm ready to meet him. 
I'm going to text him. <laughs> you sure about that? What's the worst that can happen? Mystery girl, would you believe if I told you, you're the one who rescued me from a life of misery. Mystery girl, can you ever imagine how I long to hold you right here in my arms? You're my perfect distraction, perfect delight, pretty attraction, I know they lie. Like you cast a spell on me For a girl I've never seen You're my perfect distraction Perfect delight Pretty attraction I know the light Huh? Like you cast a spell on me Lillian hmm? He called me dear He called me dear <gasps> Look at it Oh my god I won't sleep tonight Oh my days He called me dear <sighs> You need to help me with my makeup mm. and find me something nice to wear, okay? Please, please. Borrow me jewelry, <sighs> borrow me a rig. <clears throat> I need a whole makeover, <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> Let me choose something from your closet. The one way second. this love is doing you, I don't understand the whole... I want to borrow that your dress. Which one? That yellow one. See this? This one. This? Yes, this. Haven't I worn this before? Oh no. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Just a little bit of touch up. <clears throat> Some gloss. Does it? Wow, you look amazing. I'm sure you take Alexandra's breath away. <gasps> wow. Yeah, you like it? Yes. I know. Thanks for making me look fly. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the big. Thank you for the Van Clair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chanel, you've made me look amazing. You're welcome. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Okay, you should go now. It's bad luck to be late on your first date. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You and these your superstitions, eh? Your grandmother sure convinced you of these mysticisms. Well, what do you expect from a girl who grew up with her grandmother? <laughs> anyway, wish me luck. May the arts be in your favor. You are so dramatic. <laughs> Hi. Okay, darling, have fun. Bye. 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 Huh? No, I didn't go to church because of this girl. <clears throat>
wet. Aren't you that laundry girl? You? Like you have even once talking my fiance? Like really? I didn't know he had a fiancé. What were you thinking? That he would leave it for you? <laughs> what are you thinking? That he would leave me for you? Really? Come back here. Stand here I'm talking to you. He will only use you and dump you in the gutters where you belong, okay? And now listen to me. Don't you ever, ever contact him again. I swear I will mess you up. Rubbish. I will surely lose my mind When I finally get to see you I've just stopped texting you instead of sending his fiance to disgrace you. I'm so sorry you had to go through such an embarrassment. I, I hate to tell you I warned you. I'm such a fool. I was so clouded by my feelings that I, I wasn't even thinking. It's okay. <laughs> You know, when you're in love, you don't just use your heart. You use your head too, so you don't make mistakes. <laughs> All right. Don't tell me you want to call him. I'm blocking him. Good. Now you're using your head. It's right. I don't want to see him again. I never want to meet him again. Why is blessing no deliver? Business network. Try again tomorrow. Oh, you're back. I thought you were gonna sleep into the next day. It's Sunday. I'm allowed to have extra rest. And I don't want to believe that you went to church dressed like this. Where did you go? I went to deliver something for my mom this morning. Oh, speaking of which, when am I going to finally meet them? You've been postponing my meeting them for a long time. Alex, please. I postponed based on their schedule. It's not like I do not want you to meet them, and you'll meet them soon anyway. Okay. Um, yes, sir. I need some money. I just paid your allowance. I know, but I have I have something that requires more money to be fixed. I need 700,000. And please do not ask me what I want to use this money for because I'm not a child who doesn't know the good use for money. Oh, do you have someone you're spending your money on? I'll make a transfer in the morning. I was glad when Lily had called to tell me you needed company. I didn't tell her that. But come on. It's obvious from the look on your face that you need someone around you. So what's up? What's the matter? I 
I haven't seen any smile on that pretty face of yours since I stepped in. <sighs> okay, you know what, just uh, listen. Whoever is making you feel this way is not worth it at all. You just need to let it go. Easy for you to say. Well, that's the truth. Now, listen, no one is worth our peace and joy. Well, for me, I don't find it difficult replacing people whenever they mess up. <laughs> I don't have that chills. So please, cheer up, okay? Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Are you telling me to leave? No. Not at all. So... Come on, cheer up. Sophia, what's with the attitude? Your payments. Sophia. Well, you know, this is not a way to treat your customers. I mean, if your boss finds out how you treat his clients, what do you think he's going to think? Just look at him. After sending his fiance to embarrass him. I feel like I know you. You may think I'm crazy, but I I know that fragrance. Hello. Really? So you blocked me? This girl just hung up on me. Did she really block me? What does she even think she's? How, how do you even come into somebody's life and then just disappear like that and you're, you're, you're blocking the, pers the person? What does she even think of herself? She's not, 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 not Queen Elizabeth, she be. She don't even fight herself. Close to my heart. What's wrong? Why are you looking all gloomy? Is it not that, 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 that mystery girl? Can you believe that she blocks me? Okay. Let's talk. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Look at you. No, listen, you just have to calm down, okay? Uh, maybe it's our own way of uh, telling you she doesn't want to meet with you. I mean, live with it. Leave with what? It doesn't work like that, my guy. You must 
Alex, <laughs> Wait. are you falling for this girl? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> My friend is in love. Uh, but on a more serious note now, uh, this doesn't look good on you. I mean, she had you up on you. Oh, man. Just <sighs> take it easy, okay? Who can I use your phone? Why not? Of course. Uh, okay, there you go. Just take it easy, man. <laughs> we met. No worth it all. No, I changed my mind. Thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, it's not worth it. I mean, <laughs> we can't be begging women for love. Huh? Let's take it easy, right? How about that laundry girl you talked about? <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> now you'll think she's smart. I mean, she's offering me friendship while I'm offering relationship. I mean, who does that? Uh, well, for me, I've actually gotten out of my mind. I'm only playing along. And once I'm able to get in between her legs, and I we. Why are you going to use her like that now? Uh -uh. You don't seem to understand. What's that? I mean, this girl is messing with my head. I mean, her face is intoxicated. I mean, I am bent on teaching her a lesson. Strong one at that. What's the address of that laundry? Shop again, I might just be needing your service. Oh, it's somewhere around uh, Guaripa. Hmm. Yeah. So let's take it easy, okay? Please. It's not worth it. No women at all is. It's been her all this while. I should have known. Sophia. So it's been you all the while. Why are you playing games with me? Why? Why are you acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? You think I don't know you're the one I've been chatting with? After, after falling in love with you? What? You, you even blocked me. You blocked me. Why? All I, all I asked for was a chance to meet you. So that we could see. I didn't know that was too much to ask. But you ruined that chance. Why are you acting oblivious? What do you mean I ruined that chance? Good afternoon, sir. And what is going on here? Nothing, sir. That would be all.
Hey. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Alexander was at my office today. Why? What did he want? I thought he said he would never come there again. I'm confused. He doesn't seem to know about what happened between me and his fiance. Are you serious? Yeah. And he was really pissed off that I had cut him off. He was hurt. I think you concluded wrong, Jay. The fiancé must have played a fast one on him. I'm not sure. I'm not happy with the way I treated him. Why? Girl, the guy is engaged. He said he loves me. What? He said that? He wants us to go on a date tomorrow. I have told this guy that I cannot offer him anything other than friendship, but he doesn't get it. Sophia, I'm sure he knows that already. It's just a harmless date, and I think you need it too. I want to call Alexander. What for? <sighs> that guy has a fiance. I'm sure you don't want to ruin another woman's relationship, would you? But well, I'm glad that you're here with me. I can't wait for you to meet this girl. Mm. Yeah. Though I've just been beating my time with her. Like I told you. Well, you told me you really like this girl. Mm. Yes, I thought so too. So, better still, I did. Not until when she started acting, you know, proving stubborn. Hard to get. I know this girl's really hard to get. They need to be humbled and more. Wow. I will gladly take on that responsibility. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Humbler of the heart to good girls. You got it. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Oh. I've told you, Patrick. Mm. Get a good girl. Settle down, my mm. Hi. Hello. How are you? You're looking good. Hello? 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 What's going on? You, you two know each other? Sophia! Sophia! Alex, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You know her? Mystery girl. She's the one. She's the one that's been. I, I I found out the, the other day I took your phone to, to, to try to call her. I 
Then why has she been acting that way? Oh goodness. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. Okay, um <laughs> Alex, Alex, Alex. Just calm down, okay? Alex, calm down, okay? Just calm down. Well, as it stands now, we'll just act like everything is fine, okay? Like everything is normal. And it's obvious she likes you. That's why she's been texting you. So you and I will just use her and afterwards we we'll dump her. What is this? You see what? Well, you is and I Chris? will use her and dump her afterwards. Chris? Can you hear yourself? How can you even say such a thing? Eh? Hey, 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 hey. Listen, listen. I know. I know I'm mad at her. Yes. But I will never do such a thing to her. Or even any other woman. Can you hear the nonsense you're spewing? I told you I'm in love with this girl. <laughs> Alex. Alex. Alex! What? Are you gonna choose that girl over our friendship? Alexander is friends with Patrick? <sighs> Girl, your life is indeed a dramatic one. Alexander didn't even look surprised to see me. He looked like he already knew that I knew Patrick. Hmm. This is getting interesting. <sighs> what kind of bad luck is this? What kind of bad luck is this? What's really going on with my life? I finally fall in love and he's engaged. Now that same person is friends with someone that likes me. Girl, I think you have to give Patrick a chance. Alexandra is off the market. He's taken. But he's the one my heart longs for. I feel nothing for Patrick. <laughs> What did he come here for? Girl, listen, I think he deserves an explanation at least, if not for anything. So tell me, what kind of game are you playing with friends? I'm not playing games with anyone. Oh, really? So tell me, what exactly is it? I mean, why did you have to text my friend with an anonymous identity? I didn't know both of you were friends. That doesn't change anything. It doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that you reached out to him first. Oh, goodness. So, this is who you really are. So, what happened to all the hard to get? Mirage? Oh, goodness. Okay, yes. I tested him first. But really, I owe you no explanation. So, why are you making a big deal out of this? Oh, really? Really? I mean, what kind of old lady... Uh, Changes, changes him. A stranger, a desperate one. Oh, come on. I never knew you were this cheap. Oh! I won't have you disrespect me. Why are you so pained? I'm not even dating you. I, I, I would never stop so low to date a cheap girl like you. Never! Do you think that so, so all the uh, I'm not after material things are just pretense? 
Yet you go chasing my friend! Ha! Huh? It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. You know what? That is why I never wanted to date you in the first place. You're so arrogant! Leave! Yes, thank you. I will leave. I will. Huh? But before I leave, just notice this. My friend Alexander will never date a chick girl like you. Never! And for your information, he has a fiance. And they will be getting married soon. Ta! Cheap girl. Had to, had to get my foot. Nonsense. What are you doing here? We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about, okay? No, no. It's pointless. Oh no, there's a lot to talk about. Like how you came into my life in the first place, and how you blocked me for no reason, and how you started acting funny. There's a lot to talk about right here. Well, I have my reasons, okay? Listen, I don't want any more trouble. Please. Sorry. What? What? Oh, let what? go of me! Let go of me! Six Alex, stop it! Me. Alex, stop it, please! Alex, stop it! You know I can arrest you for abduction, right? Well, you didn't put up much of a fight, did you? Seems like you wanted me to kidnap you. Not funny. <laughs> well, I should be mad at you for playing games with me and blocking me just because I said let us see. I didn't block you because you wanted us to see. I agreed to meet up with you and tested you where we should meet. What? No, no, I didn't get any text. I won't say that. Apparently, your girlfriend got the text and gave me the embarrassment of my life. What? Ivy did, did what? When? That is why I blocked you. I didn't want any trouble, so I stayed away from you. She's your fiancé, and I don't blame her anyway. She's only trying to protect her relationship. Why did you text me? It's not necessary, is it? Just take my Sophie. I'm in love with you, and I can't help it. I've been in love with you from the very first day I perceived your smile. The scent of your shirt. That's what drew me closer to you. But we can't always get what we want. You're in a relationship, and I respect that. I don't want to ruin it for you. You owe me no explanation. Please take me home. I know. I've just been helping my mom tidy some things. I miss you too. Let me call you back. I need to attend to my dad. <laughs> Alex. Alex.
You appear so innocent. Like there are no skeletons in your cupboard. But guess what? I know what you've been up to. Alex, you met with that laundry girl, right? And is that why? You deprived me of receiving my text messages. Taking laws into your own hands. What's confident? Why did you attack the girl? What confidence, Alex? Your fiancé confronts your side chick and you have the guts to say this to her. Ain't you even ashamed of yourself? Alex? Like, instead of you to plead and even promise me to never, ever happen again, you have the guts to question my actions. Alex, what has come over you? I'm talking to you, Alex! Come back here! This would have been the perfect love story, only if his fiancé was not involved. I honestly wish she was not in the picture. I felt this. This cold air flew down my face, down oh. to my spine. When he held my hands and told me that he loved me. Oh. I wanted to kiss him so badly, Lillian. I know. And now you have to let go. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought that something as ordinary as a sense will pull you to the love of your life? A perfume. I told you that perfume was so familiar. I swear, I perceived that smell somewhere before. Where? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I remember. I remember when I first perceived that scent. Where? Do you remember? Do you remember that first night we stayed here where I slept alone? Mm -hmm. Remember I told you I had some strange dream? Yeah. That was the night I perceived the smell. Who was wearing? Sophia, tell me about the dream. I think I know what's happening. Tell me. But that was the perfume he was wearing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I know what's happening here. Sophia, that night, that night you slept here alone. Did you just sleep with your bunch of keys under your pillow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dream the first night you slept in the house alone. So this this is so confusing. No, it's not. It's not. You have to sleep with your key under your pillow. The Turkish believe that one can get a glimpse of their soulmate in their dream if this is done. But there's another thing you might not be able to remember when you wake up in the morning. Sophia, listen. Alexander is your soulmate. I slept with my keys underneath my pillow unintentionally. It doesn't matter. 
Lillian, you and your mere superstitions. You know, you've been giving me superstitious stories ever since I've met you. Gosh. You know, living with your grandmother has really influenced you. Lillian, this is not about superstition. How did you explain the colon in your dream? Matching out of Alexander's. Coincidence, obviously. How is this coincidence? How? You tag this, this whole thing coincidence? <sighs> Sophia. Didn't I warn you? Didn't I warn you to stay away from my man? Sorry, um, sorry, what's going on here? This laundry girl of yours has been flirting with your customers. Sir, that's not true. That's not true. She has been stalking my fiancé, throwing herself at him, and even seducing him. You're trying to ruin my relationship. What? Sophie? You know, if I didn't come to penalize his business, I don't think you would have done that. And I doubt if you would ever see someone like him because you're too low for his class. Sophia. Sophia, you know how much my business means to me and my clients. And you yet do want to jeopardize my business, right? You know what? Everything that, that has to do with you and get out of this place, you are fired. Ah, sir, please, you can't fire me. So you can't I fire said you're fired! Sir, so you know I've been working here for so many years with, with no complaints. So you can't just fire me like that. So please hey, don't hey, fire hey, me. Hey, 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 you better listen. The next time you get close to Alex, just this inch, I swear, I will burn down this place. Uh, madam. Try me, bitch! No, no, no. Try me! Uh, Nonsense! You heard that, right? You know what? I'm not mixing words. Stand up from there, carry all your belongings, and leave this place at once. No! Leave this place, Charlie! Nonsense. You know what? You can shove your dog down your ass! Huh? What is this? I work my ass out day and night trying to help your business grow and all you do is yell at me, scream at me. Why? You are, you, you know what? You don't even deserve me. You are the worst human being I've ever met. You rotten hell. You your stupid business. I will turn your uniforms tomorrow. You're back early. My boss fired me. He did what? What did you do? Alexander's fiance came there and created a scene. Ha! Huh? That girl. She's doing too much. Alexander's coming into my life is just it's bringing me more pain than joy. Now, I've joined the long queue of jobless graduates. It's okay. It's okay. Leaving that job is long overdue. That man does not deserve you. You get a better job with time. Hmm? Should have seen her eyes when she threatened me. Hmm. I beg. Alexander should just stay away from me. Let me stay away from him. Hmm. If all that he brings me is sadness, there's no point. It's cool. I still have a strong feeling you both are meant to be together. Nah. We're not. You think? We're not.
morning. Uh, um, is how can we help you today, sir? Your your girl, she's not here yet. Well, she no longer works here, sir. Is there any other thing we can do for you today? Um, why did she stop working here? Let me guess, you're one of those men. What? You're one of those men that she's been flirting with, right? Okay, I have fired her. So is there any other reason you are here? Is there any other thing you want us to help you do? If there is none, please, you can leave. Sir, you do. Once. I was at your workplace. And I've been fired because of you. I don't know if I should regret meeting you. You know why? Because all you bring me is pain and loss. Oh, no. Sophie, don't say that. No. Your fiancé is bent on making my life miserable. Even though I've asked you to leave me alone. Alex, stay away from me. Sophia, just calm down. Come with me. Let's go somewhere quiet and we can talk about this. He must think I'm daft. The next thing I'll see coming on my face will be Chapman, but I said. Come on now, no, no. She, she's not going to do that. I want to let her do that. Listen, Sophia. My heart beats for you. I want you above anything and anyone else. You have a fiancé, for Christ's sake. Not that I do not feel anything for any more. Alex, just, just stay away from me, okay? I don't want to be the reason it doesn't work between you two. Love is not selfish. I shouldn't have said that to him. Yes. Oh, this guy is so cute. Do you think I'm doing the wrong thing? Yes, I think you're doing the wrong thing. I think you should give him a chance. I mean, I mean look at him. He looks broken. I've never seen you this broken before. I mean, regardless of how much stress Ivy brings to you. What's the matter? I love him, man. I really do. <sighs> well, I've come to agree with that. You know, I can't continue to fight what I have no control over. I guess I was just battling rejection. I'm really sorry. No, 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 you don't have to. I mean, I was just mad for nothing. I mean, to be candid, the lady did me no wrong. I was just mad for nothing. Now she doesn't want to see me. She doesn't want to have anything to do with me. She lost her job because of me. What? Wow. Wow. That's so sad. Wow. Uh, what about Ivy? How about her? I'm not in love with Ivy anymore. Now do I think she's in love with me. <sighs> well, if you ask me, I'm not at any time 
liked her lifestyle, anything about her right from the, right from the onset. I'll be so glad if it doesn't work out between you both. Now, dude, listen. You have to take a bold decision. I am. Really? I already have. I just don't know how to put it through to Ivy. Sophia is one of my dreams. I can't wait to spend forever with her. Yeah, no, no. Cool, no, follow me. Let's go. I need to see her again. No, 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 no. No, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, listen, see. Allow her some time to go through the process. I mean, she just lost her job, remember? But you know what? I'll advise you fix yourself first. Then we go after her next. Think about it. Think about it. All right, man. Thank you for coming up to me. Come on. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. I mean, you need to know how much I've been dying to end this before. <laughs> I miss you, bro. I miss you so much. <laughs> I wonder what it is that you want to say that cannot wait till I return. I think you and I are incompatible as man and wife. Alex, you're breaking up with me? Because of that laundry girl? That cheap human? Listen, just face it. We're not working. And you knew it. <laughs> Alex. Oh. <laughs> I see. The truth? I'm not surprised. One bit. You know, I only acted shocked because I've been waiting for you to say it. I saw it coming. You and I are not compatible as man and wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you sugarcoating and simple? I am no longer interested in you. Look at you. You can't even break up with me with your full chest. Oh. <laughs> Alex, you just realized that we're not compatible? Oh, well, I realized that a long time ago. Alex, your social life sucks. You are so boring, Alex. Then why did you let me propose? Oh, that, well, that was me trying to look beyond the incompatibility and what I stand to lose if I leave you. And yes, I wanted to marry you for your money and manage your boring lifestyle. But no, I just realized I can't, I can't settle for a marriage without vibes. And, and so I, I made a backup plan. What? A backup plan? What are you talking about? Oh, please, Alex. I've been looking for the perfect time to call it quits with you. I'm seeing someone else. Excuse me? You've been cheating on me? Oh, please, Alex. You can say whatever you want to say. But guess what? He's nothing close to you. You might be richer than him, but I'd rather choose a life of cruise than that of boredom. Why? Why? You knew you weren't going to marry me, yet you've been trying to spoil my chances with Sophia. Why? Alex, that laundry girl? Oh God, Alex, you know how hurtful it is knowing I'm leaving all the things, the house, the cars, the money, to that laundry girl? Oh God, this is 
No, no, no. I just realized. I don't even know you. Just go inside and pack your things. Sure. Without having a second thought. My ring. Oh. <laughs> Alex. When last did you see your ring on my finger? It's real silver. So? I sold it. You have five minutes. <laughs> Thanks. Boring man. Maybe two worlds But I What is it? I miss him. It's been almost two weeks. <sighs> Until you see him walk down the aisle with another woman, that's when you know that your superstitions are not true. Huh. Anyway, let me help you with that. I hope I get this job. I'm tired of job hunting. Hmm. Well, I think you have the job already. After all, you passed the interview with the recruiting company. Well, the CEO himself is interviewing me today, so I still have one hurdle to overcome. Oh, well, and I know you will kill it. Don't go and disappoint me, Del. <laughs> Jacob's company is a very big company, and for the position of a personal assistant, girl, the salary will be mouth watering. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I think I should get going. It's I not know. good to go late. Yes, I that'll think be so a bad too. idea. I know. All right, wait for me so I can see you off. <laughs> good afternoon. Alexander. Sophie. I didn't know you work here. Maybe I should just... Um... Alexander Jacob. CEO. Jacob's Holdings. Pleased to meet you, Sophia Evie. Isn't this a sign that we are meant to be together? We can't do this. We can't do this. This is so wrong. So wrong. A young man kissing the law of his life can never be wrong. Ivy? You broke up. Because of me? We were never compatible. She got a man. Oh, I see. Don't feel guilty. You haven't done anything wrong. My heart chose you. <laughs> you 
You must have cast a spell on